Hello, and uh, welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thanks for joining again. We're going to be speaking with Dr. Eddie Fatikov this morning. He's a board-certified internist from Atlanta, and he's joining us on the program to talk about the efficiency and effectiveness of far UV light and how it could possibly be a solution to the uh, current COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Welcome to the program, Dr. Eddie Fatikov. Thanks for taking the time this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having a uh, background, I did say, of course, that you're, you're a certified internist there in uh, Atlanta in the United States. What is uh, your background? How are you connected uh, with this far UV light? Yes, I'm board certified in private practice and I also work in the hospital where I admit patients and see patients on a regular basis. So actually, I was looking for a solution during this coronavirus pandemic and saying we have to do, I mean, you know, for a country so vast and so much technology and have some of the brightest minds, there's got to be a solution. And I yeah, stumbled yeah. across Columbia Columbia University website, and I saw Dr. David Brennan talk about far UV lighting, and I saw his TED Talks on it too. And even on their website, it says, far UV, the solution for COVID-19. I said, okay, let me look into this, because I know about UVC lighting that we use in the hospital, right? So those those lights that pretty much we use to disinfect the rooms. But what interested me about far UV is a different length. It's not the 54 germous wavelength that we see in the hospitals. Mm-hmm. It's actually 222 nanometer. And what that actually does, it makes it safe for humans. Right? It doesn't penetrate the human skin, doesn't penetrate the eye, and that way it can be implemented in masses in the sense that we put on public um, transit, can be put on buses, it can be put on uh, hospitals, can be put on a doctor's office. Right now it's currently improved for just environmental use. Boeing is using it for their 737 maxes for their laboratories to disinfect the bathrooms. Disney is using it to disinfect their equipment. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm using it in my office right now to sterilize all the exam rooms. Right. So it'll take about three minutes to sterilize the whole exam room. And then my patients can come in so they can feel safe. I also have it installed in my HVAC. So that way the air that's being purified kills any viral particles. So how long has this technology been in existence? This is something that has been you're using it in your office. You've uh, got it in your HVAC system. Why are we not hearing about this? And why is this something that the government hasn't looked into? I mean, that's the that's the question I've been asking. They've actually used UVC lighting, general UVC lighting in China, and sterilize all their buses, right? So people aren't talking about they're doing this in China and Russia and other countries, but we're not doing it here in the United States to sterilize our public transit system. And that's why New York got affected so much, right? Because the virus stays on surfaces, and so people are touching it, and that's the virus. Um, but the specific far UV, that 222 nanometer uh, wavelength, was created by Ed Neister, He's the owner of Sterile Ray. He actually is the patent holder. He's got 10 patents on um, his technology, and it's for surfaces, for liquid, for skin, for the eyes. He's got a whole host of things that I didn't know about, you know, and um, he's here in the United States, and he's been selling it to hospitals and nursing homes and for the last 20 years, and he's actually been talking about, hey, we need to have this. It might be a pandemic coming. He's been saying that since 1999. And Dr. David Brenner out of Columbia University has been saying this since 2015 in cases of pandemic, because he showed their technology can kill influenza virus particles. Mm-hmm. Saying in case we have a future pandemic, this should be done now. We shouldn't wait. And you know, now we have a pandemic, and that's why everybody's talking about it. Well, let's let's back up a minute and, and talk about the light that could harm human skin, that could penetrate the eye. Was this also UV light that was? you know, killing viruses, airborne, liquid-borne, surface-borne, but was so uh, uh, harmful to the humans that the person could not be in the room. What you're saying now is this different wavelength is safe for humans and does the same thing uh, possibly even better? Correct. That's exactly what I'm saying. Even even better. And the difference is the price, right? If you look at one of those robots at the hospital to disinfect the room, it's $100,000. Right? It's a lot of money. Most people can't afford that. Mm-hmm. Here you can go you know, here with the far UV technology. You can get a, a wand and disinfect your, your whole house and your whole office for $1,700. Now, it's still expensive, but compared mm-hmm. to $100,000, it's a fairly fairly reason, a reasonably priced product that, you know, it's about thirty thousand hours because those lamps and bulbs the uvc lamps and bulbs are pretty expensive mm-hmm. is there any heat generated we we heard a lot in the uh early days of the uh the pandemic about certain temperatures killing this particular novel coronavirus is there any heat involved are we talking simply uv light yeah it's uh, uv light but heat does kill the virus so you need about 140 fahrenheit to kill the coronavirus, but if you have a relative humidity about 35 to 40 percent, the temperature 76 percent, you can decrease the contagion by half. So if it's airborne for three hours, you can decrease those particles 
viral particles to about half an hour just by having it to be a little bit humid at the house. And that's why humidity will help kind of um, mitigate the virus. So basically installing this, uh, it, uh, what is it, the eczema wave stale ray? Is, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Installing one of these in your home is going to sterilize the home of all surfaces, all airborne uh, viruses and, and, all liquids. Surf and, and, li liquid. and liquids as well. OK. Mm -hmm. And so your home, your quarantine, you're basically sterile in the house. What about when you leave? Of course, you're going to be susceptible again. But you can take the one with you, right? It looks like a wand, like a, uh, a Star Wars wand. You can take the one with you in the car and sterilize that and where anywhere you go. Because how do you sterilize electronics, right? You're not going to put a bleach wipe on the electronic or no, Lysol no. wipe on your electronic. Mm -hmm. You're just going to take this wand, turn it on. It's kind of like what I have when I come home. I take my my phone and I put it in this um, UVC light and I close it because I can't open it because it's dangerous. And in 10 minutes, my iPhone or my phone is clean. But now I just take the wand and I clean it like that within seconds. I mean, it can kill coronavirus or the flu virus I mean, pretty much can kill three to four logs in about five seconds, right? So you're killing about 80,000 particles in one second, viral particles. You know, folks keep talking about uh, when things get back to normal. And a lot of people um, don't believe that this is going to this is the new normal. This is what it's going to be. You know, we didn't think that we were going to be, you know, screened at TSA forever. We didn't you know, we thought that was a temporary thing. This is not a treatment for COVID-19 or yeah. anything else. This is but going forward, as we uh, want to keep ourselves safe from anything else like this, this is something that everyone can pretty much uh, every at least every business can afford to, uh, you know, sterilize product before it goes out, uh, sterilize uh trailers that are going to be shipping certain products if yeah. uh, these these are yeah. these are lights that can stay on what be, what about the the energy consumption a very so that's 120 watt i mean doesn't consume much energy and plus they've even done studies for like produce right for tomatoes preventing mold. So imagine you go to your local supermarket and you're getting an organic tomato and now you have these far uvc lights that's preventing mold to be on there now that now it's fresher Right, it stays in there longer. So the technology can be used vastly, can be used in military, can be used in surgical wound centers, right? If you get a cut, instead of putting antibiotic cream on there, now you can put this far UV light that doesn't harm the skin, potentially, and can actually disinfect your whole wound without you having to put a bunch of cream or antibiotics on there. So in terms of the utility of this far UV technology, it's vast. And when you search online for far UV, you'll see a two, $300 product on Amazon or Alibaba or any of these websites, but that's not true far UV, right? True far UV has to have a two twenty two nanometer wavelength. Where can our listeners learn more about uh, sterile ray, about the eczema wave, sterile ray uh, light? Sterile ray that, dot com is, you know, it, it's currently produced through the, approved through the, for environmental uses, but if the FDA looks at the studies and possibly can be even fast track and get it approved for, um, you know, to be around humans. Dr. Fatikov, thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for having me. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com.